Okay, we're looking at the Ramage producer suite. This particular version is 8.6. And I'm just gonna do a quick overview of how the Ramage software works together. This is for the producer suite. First, we'll look at QuickDisk. Uh, this is the client program. There's, there's three uh, main programs that you would be using uh, with the Ramage producer suite. Uh, first one is uh, QuickDisk, the client program, is used for submitting jobs to the production and uh, for submitting jobs you click on new and I'll give you the rundown here so uh, all the projects are set up in tabs uh, first by first three are by media so there's CD and then all the different types of jobs you could you can do with a CD data CD is if you have data files on your server or on your hard drive that you want to burn to a disk set of day, data CDs that's basically if you have um, data that would take more than one disk it'll span it across multiple disks automatically audio CD obviously if you have audio files that you want to burn to a disk that's going to be playable on a on a CD player audio and data CD that's like a mix, mi mixed mode where you would have a, a disk that's playable audio on a CD player uh, but also has data tracks on it as well so if you wanted an audio CD with some you know pictures of the band or something like that um, copy CD obviously is if you have an existing CD that you want to make copies of uh, under DVD it's similar setup data DVD set of data DVDs instead of audio they have a video DVD if you have audio TS video TS folders you know basically a pre-formatted DVD format it'll burn that to a disk existing DVD that you want to make a copy of and the same thing for blu-ray you know data set video copy and existing save projects uh, anytime you create a project in, in quick disk you can save that project and you can pull it up here under more tasks print label this is a print only job if you only want to print without any burning create an image file so this is if you want to take files from your server or hard drive and create an image file from it so once you have an image file created you can easily recall that image for jobs um, and I'll show that in another video but it's it's a pretty handy thing to do you basically build all the data into an image so you don't have to go back and look for the individual files and compile them again you just do it the one time save it as an image file record an existing image to disk so if you make an image file or if you make an image from an existing disk and save it to your hard drive this is the tool you would use to record that image to the disk record a DDP project so this is a special uh, type audio project if if you know what DDP is then uh, you you'll be happy to see this if you don't it's just something you don't need to worry about it's it's an audio only uh, application feature under advanced create a hybrid CD so that's if you wanted to do something that was uh, had both Windows and Mac file structures on it uh, save tracks from disk this is actually a pretty cool little feature you can take an existing disk and save tracks from it or save a complete disk image and uh, so basically you'd be able to recall that disk image make copies of that disk uh, without by basically storing it as a digital file and not having to pull the disk out and read it in every time you want to copy it create a project batch set um, that's kind of nice actually if you have say two or three disks that always go together you could turn them into a batch set where it will send all three of those jobs um, every time you put, call it up so if you have a three disk set you could save make three jobs save them as a set and then you only have to send it one time and it automatically makes three copies you know the, of the th copies of the three different disks so that's kind of a time saver there under archive this is basically camera specific uh, video archival and they, they use this for basically dumping data off of your um, P2 camera or uh, the Canon uh, FSC V data camera uh, and it's really specific to that hardware so if you've got a P2 camera the, uh, that you, you obviously probably purchased this for this reason for offloading data from your camera onto DVDs and CDs just so you can free up space that's what this whole archive is is for archive from a media reader uh, obviously you have to buy the um, you can buy the Ramage media reader and uh, you can offload from uh, whatever type of data sticks you have in that media reader onto a disk uh, this is pretty you know pretty much for people who are 
in audio video or, or photography perhaps and just want to unload their data that's what the archival stuff is for for the most part people are going to be using to submit jobs uh, they'll be using you know more tasks maybe advanced for reading the tracks in um, and then if you're going to be copying or doing any data disks you'll be using these three tabs primarily so that is is quick disk in a nutshell um, they have some some quick access buttons over here uh, next thing I'll look at really quickly CD designer this is Ramage's label layout program mm -hmm. um, and it's basically it's a, it's a it's a pretty simple drag and drop you know label layout program if you are creating your labels in Illustrator or Photoshop or you know a, a graphic design program then you pretty much are just going to be you know bringing in a finished label like you can just drag a Photoshop label into here and it will automatically just lay it in you can center it and you're good to go uh, the Ramage software production server software it won't automatically print a Photoshop file or JPEG file um, it will print PDF files automatically but you've got to have your PDF cropped to 120 by 120 millimeter square uh, 300 DPI preferred um, I typically tell people just to output to JPEG and then import into CD designer it's an extra step but it's nice because it does give you like a preview of the um, of the artwork when you're sending the job in quick disk and uh, you get a little bit more uh, control over the label as well it seems like it sometimes renders better even so that's that's my suggestion this will go over CD designer separately more but that's what CD designer is it's just the label layout software saves labels as a dot btw file and that's kind of the native uh, label format for the Ramage software uh, the third piece here is Ramage System Manager. So Ramage System Manager is basically the front end that shows you and gives you administrative control over the Ramage services. The two services that are running are Production Server and Imaging Server. So in Production Server you can look at you know some information about the system that's running. You can see server orders that are running. You can see the server log. This will tell you any errors. Uh, when it starts and stops out of, out of disk. Um, imaging server is kind of the same thing just on the imaging side. So you can send jobs where you need the Ramage software to build an image for you. So if you send like an edit list of, um, of data, this is more for people who are using the API or using the, the more uh, custom uh, software features. Most people are just going to be using quick disk and production server. Uh, and the control center this actually it gives you a heads up of the equipment so this will show you the Ramage system sitting here it'll show you the printer the recorders and it gives you access to the settings but you know, generally it is um, something that's going to be showing you that you've got everything set up properly you know if you don't see if it says no recorders in red no printer in red all loaders disabled now you know there's a problem or if it doesn't show you this picture of the system. So that's pretty much it. As jobs are coming through, you can get warnings um, from here if it says it's out of disk. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can cancel jobs here. You can change the number of copies um, for a job. So there's a few things you can do administratively. Um, but that's basically you know, for, for watching jobs and, and for the initial setup of settings, you'll use the Ramage System Manager. Quick disk overall is uh, going to be the main thing that you're going to use for sending jobs. You can also monitor jobs in here in this lower section. It shows you the job status when you send them. So this is this quick. This is pretty much going to be your bread and butter. And then if there's issues or if you need to make changes to the settings, you'll go into Ramage System Manager. So that's kind of the the main components of the Ramage software uh, in a quick overview.